Alright guys, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to answer the, the question okay, involving determination of the limiting reactant. Okay, so have a look at this question. Okay, so we have a mass of aluminium and also mass of ferrum 3 oxide. Okay, if you look at this question, the balance equation is already given. Okay, so in here adalah the balance equation. So, how do you know uh, when you have to determine the limiting reactant. Okay, so, caranya adalah, okay, when you are given more than one reactants, okay, dalam kes ni, kita ada aluminium dan juga ferrum 3 oxide as our reactants, okay, so kita ada lebih daripada satu reactants, okay, and also, these two reactants, okay, they, ber, they beri mass, so we know the amount of that reactants used, okay, so, in this case, wajib bagi you to find the, the, the determined reactant, uh, sorry, to find the limiting reactant because, okay, the limiting reactant will limit the product and also completely consume in the reaction, okay? So, how do you determine the limiting reactant? Okay, first step, you must calculate the number of moles of each reactants, okay? So, first, kita Cari dulu number of moles of aluminium. Okay. So, here the mass of aluminium given is 1 to 4 gram. Okay. And then the molar mass is already given in the question for aluminium, 27 gram per mole. So, we know that 27 gram per mole is in 1 moles of aluminium. Okay. There are 27 gram. Okay. So, dekat sini kita tahu satu, setiap satu mol aluminium ada 27 gram. Alright. So, dekat sini for aluminium, kalau you nampak nombor kat depan ni, okay, nombor coefficient ni, okay, ah, tak perlu darabkan uh, dengan the coefficient kat depan ni untuk cari dia punya molar mass. Yang you kena darabkan kalau ada nombor subscript ni. Kalau subscript ni barulah kita darabkan. Contoh dekat sini kan, ferrum ada dua. So, uh, kena darab lah uh, molar mass of ferrum, darabkan dengan 2, tambahkan dengan 3, darabkan dengan molar mass of oxygen. Okay, yang subscript ni je kita ambil kira untuk kira dia punya molar mass. Yang coefficient kat depan ni jangan ambil kira. Okay, so the number of, of mole of aluminium by using conversion factor. Okay, so dekat sini 27 gram, 1 mol. So, saya tak nak unit gram ni, saya nak cancel outkan dia. So, 27 gram ni saya letak dekat bawah. 27 gram, okay, automatically the 1 mol here akan duduk dekat atas, okay, so equals to 4.593 mol, okay, that one is mol of aluminium, ha, janganlah terkejut tengok, eh, besarnya number of mol ni betul ke salah, dah kalau mass dia besar, mestilah besar mol dia kan, okay, so mol of ferrum 3 oxide, Okay, is equals to the molar mass is, uh, sorry, the mass is 0 0.1 gram times with, dia dah bagi molar mass 160. So, 1 mol bahagikan dengan 160 gram. So, nah, mudah je. You will get 3.756 mol. Okay. Right, so... Once you got the number of mole for each reactant, okay, so kita tahu, uh, kita boleh pakai dua cara untuk uh, determine the limiting reactant. The first one, you can compare the reactant with reactant. The second one, you can compare the reactant with product. Okay, alright, so you kena compare, kalau you pakai second one tu, dua-dua ni kena compare dengan product yang sama. Okay, so macam mana kita nak tahu yang mana paling cepat untuk dapatkan jawapan, kita tengok soalan dia. Since dekat soalan ni, dia minta calculate the mass of aluminium oxide form. Okay, so apa yang you boleh buat dekat sini, nak dapat jawapan dengan pantas, okay, sebenarnya adalah dengan comparekan reactant dengan aluminium oxide. So, the stoichiometric equation, the relationship between the aluminium and aluminium oxide is in 2 moles of aluminium, okay, 2 moles of aluminium will produce 1 moles of aluminium oxide. Okay, so ini adalah dia punya stoichiometric equation, the relationship between aluminium and aluminium oxide. So, this equation you boleh keluarkan once you either balance equation sahaja. Kalau your equation tak balance ataupun salah you balancekan, jawapan you akan salah. 
So now let's find how many moles of aluminum oxide produced if you have 4.593 moles of aluminum. Okay, so 4.593 moles of aluminum. Okay, darabkan dengan, okay, since dekat sini kita tak nak mol aluminum, kita nak cancel outkan dia. So kita letakkan 2 moles of aluminum dekat bawah. Okay, so the 1 moles of Aluminium oxide akan duduk ke atas. So that will you cancel, you dapat moles of aluminium oxide produced. Which is 2.297 moles of aluminium oxide produced. Okay. So that one, kalau you ada 4.593 moles of aluminium lah. Kalau you use this moles of aluminium. The second one is you have to compare the ferrum 3 oxide with the aluminium oxide. So ingat eh, kalau you guna this method, you must compare it by using same product. Okay, tak boleh lah. This one dengan aluminium oxide. This one pula dengan ferrum. Tak boleh. Okay. So, from balance equation, okay, one moles of ferrum 3 oxide is equals to one uh, will produce one moles of aluminium oxide okay so dekat sini kita tulis dulu one moles of ferrum 3 oxide is it uh, will produce one moles of aluminium oxide okay if you have this amount of ferrum 3 oxide how many aluminium oxide will produce so sama juga by using conversion factor so kita ada 3.756 moles of ferrum 3 oxide times with ok so kita tak nak ni ok uh, alright so we will get moles of aluminium oxide so ni boleh cancel out ok kita dapat 3.756 moles of aluminium outside produce okay and then after you obtain the moles of uh, aluminium outside produce by using uh, both reactants okay you compare which one produce less product which one produce less aluminium outside so kita tengok 3.756 2.297 so obviously this one pro, uh, this one is the last amount of aluminium outside produce so automatically aluminium is the limiting reactant so kita akan tuliskan aluminium is the limiting reactant because it produce less aluminium outside okay so, since soalan minta calculate the mass of aluminium oxide produced, okay, kita tuliskan dulu. Okay, so the number of mole of aluminium oxide produced is, okay, kita terus diambil this value, okay, 2.297 mole. So, the mass of aluminium oxide produced is, okay, uh, macam biasalah, conversion factor. Okay. So, since dekat sini kita ada unit small, okay, so kita punya molar mass of aluminium oxide, dia dah bagi dalam soalan, 102 gram per mole, okay. So, dekat sini kita tak nak mole, so mole yang akan duduk kat bawah. So, boleh cancel out, you will get your answer in gram. Okay, so bila masa uh, paling sesuai nak guna method yang first tadi, comparing limit, uh, comparing reactant dengan reactant to find the limiting reactant. Okay, sebenarnya apabila the question ask you, the first question ask you to calculate how many excess reactant remain. Okay, sebenarnya paling sesuai guna method yang pertama. Wah, cepat sikit dapat jawapan. Okay, tapi dalam soalan ni since kita dah tahu, okay, sebab soalan yang pertama ni tadi dia minta calculate the mass of aluminium oxide form. Since kita dah tahu siapa limited reactant, so kita teruskan je. So, to find how many excess reactant remain after the reaction, okay, apa yang perlu buat adalah you have to compare your reactant, okay, the limiting reactant, Okay, limited reactant dengan excess reactant. Okay, by using the stoichiometry equation lah between these two from the balance equation. Okay, so kita tuliskan. Okay, so 2 moles of aluminium. Aluminium is the limited reactant in this case. Equivalence to 1 moles of ferrum 3 oxide. Okay, so sekarang ni to find how many uh, moles of ferrum 3 oxide 
is used in this reaction. Okay, apa yang boleh awak buat? So, kita tengok balik moles of aluminium available 4.593 moles. Okay. So, 4.593 moles of aluminium. Okay, so darabkan dengan, so since kita tak nak aluminium, kita nak ni, so dia akan duduk ke atas. 1 moles of Fe2O3. So, 2 moles of aluminium akan duduk dekat bawah. Okay, so that you can cancel it out. And then, you will get how many moles of ferrum 3 oxide consumed in this reaction. Which is 2.297 moles of ferrum 3 oxide used. Okay, so this one is used. Okay, and given dalam soalan ni tadi, the moles that is given in the question daripada dia punya mass ni tadi adalah moles of ferrum 3 oxide available. So, to find the moles of um, ferrum 3 oxide remain, okay, you have to uh, deduct the moles of ferrum 3 oxide available. And tadi, okay, tolakkan dengan moles of ferrum 3 oxide used. Okay, so yang atas ni tadi adalah sebenarnya moles available bagi kedua-duanya, okay. Yang kita ada. Okay. So. Right. So. Mole available. 3.756. Minus dengan yang kita gunakan ni tadi. To react with aluminium. Okay. You will get. 1.459 moles of ferrum 3 oxide remain. Okay. So. Kalau dia minta. Oh ni dia, dia tanya how many excess reactant je. Dia tak cakap pula moles ataupun mass. Kalau dia minta mass. Carilah mass. Ibu dia nak. Okay. Sorry. Iklan tadi. Okay. So. Mass of Fe2O3 remain. Okay. Awak kena darabkan dengan dia punya molar mass lah. Ataupun gunakan conversion factor. Okay.